Good morning, everybody. How are you? So I have decided to start this um, series. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's called Morning Talks with Ro. And basically, I got someone to um, come to me on Twitter and they were like, well, when are you going to, are you going to start scheduling your talks? I'm hoping that I'm, it says I'm live. <laughs> Okay, great. So if they said, are you um, going to start scheduling? Hey, good morning, everybody, your talks. And I decided that I would, you know, I guess uh, people want to hop on and be able to talk to me live and exchange information, ask me questions, get tips, get advice. So I'm here to do that. So I decided today for our first talk to be about learning how to attach either pain or pleasure to achieving your goals. So let me explain what that means. And let me say, what's my, good morning, Damar and Reginald's here. AJ, hey, darling. I saw uh, Harold in the spot. Good morning, everybody. Andre just tuned in. Morning talks with Ro. Stan Foster, how are you? Good morning. So uh, today we're going to talk about how to attach enough pain or enough pleasure to achieving your goal because that's how we create leverage on ourselves. And depending on who you are, uh, everybody's, you know, amount of pain or pleasure is going to differ in what motivates or pushes them into action. Because at, by default, as human beings, we normally like to be comfortable, right? Who wants to do things that are uncomfortable? So under normal circumstances, good morning, everybody. Under normal circumstances, you're going to do whatever keeps you in your comfort zone, even if it's uncomfortable there. As long as you uh, can be comfortable in an uncomfortable place. That sounds crazy, right? But we do it all the time. As long as you can be comfortable in an uncomfortable place, you'll stay there. So what is the leverage that you can create on yourself that's going to move you past what's comfortable? That might take some time for you to think about. So let's pick a random uh, goal that most people have. And most people have the goal of losing weight or having a certain body image that makes them feel comfortable in their skin or just comfortable and happy about the image that they're projecting to the public, right? Um, hey, good morning, everybody. So let's say you have a weight goal, right? And a lot of the times people will attach a certain kind of pain to the goal, but they won't attach pain in a way that leverages moving you into action. So you may say, it hurts for my muscles, <laughs> to have to do this, I don't feel like doing it. You know, or if you have to do um, cardio, you don't feel like being out of breath. You don't feel like, you know, what it feels like to heave, you know, to, to get yourself going. You don't like the pain of having to get up and actually get to the gym. Or if you have a, um, a treadmill at home, you don't like the pain of having to get up, put on some kind of workout clothes and go downstairs or go wherever your, you know, equipment is, get on the dang on thing and start right? That could be your pain. So, but what is the other kind of pain that you can attach to achieving your goal? So if we can put enough pain in our past, the present, and the future when it comes to what would happen if you don't achieve the goal, that's where you're going to start to get leverage on pushing yourself into action and sustaining that action. So with the weight goal, right? If you say in the past, maybe you looked great, and maybe you don't look so great no more, you know? So what are the things that you felt when you had your perfect weight goal? And the fact that you don't have that today, how does that make you feel? You know, what is the type of uh, quality of lifestyle that you had that today in the present you don't have and you need to get back there or you want to get better than back there? You know what I mean? Attach enough pain to your past of not having your goal, right? And then in the present, what is the pain of not having that weight goal? Is it that you look not so great? You, you, you're afraid to go to like your, your class reunion because you're not confident in who you are or what you're projecting to the public? Do you, do you have to, um, do your clothes not fit well? Can you not afford to get more wardrobe? Is it, you know, is, is, it, is it taking away from your bottom line as far as financially is concerned? What about, um, you know, being in bed with somebody? Do you not feel comfortable in your skin? Do you not feel comfortable about who you are when you get up and you look in the mirror? How does it make you feel if you really allow yourself to get in touch with the pain that's associated with not having the body image that you want? What about your quality of life in the present moment? Can you, are you not as mobile? Can you not play with your children? 
you know and then sometimes you know the pain of your body goal may not be a personal one it may be you know some people can live with that they're like I'm cool with that you know what I mean that's not enough leverage to push a person into action but if it has something to do with your kid that you care about and you're not gonna be there because you'll be dead if you don't get your body weight under control that may be enough leverage to push you into action it are you gonna uh, run into more issues with your spouse I mean what are those painful experiences that are attached to not achieving your goal that you can put in the present moment and then go into the future what is the pain that's attached to not having your goal in the future will you be dead if you don't pull it together in the present Will you not be here for your kids? Will you get even larger and more uncomfortable in your skin? Will you lose more mobility? Will you have to be on more medication? Which is like, oh my gosh, total, a total inconvenience. Will you not be able to work? Will you have to change your profession? What is the painful reality that will be attached to you not achieving your goal? And if you can find the leverage on yourself, that's what's going to push you into action and then that's what's going to sustain you but it's got to be painful enough that you're like whatever you found a way to be comfortable in right now will no longer be comfortable so now that we've talked about pain does anybody because I'm going to also talk about how we attach pleasure to pushing us into action and sustaining action but it's got to be one of the extremes it can't be what you can find a way out of you're just not going to do it. You're not going to do what makes you uncomfortable. We will find a way to be comfortable in discomfort. That's just how we're wired as human beings, right? So good morning, everybody. Let me see what everybody's saying. Um, okay, good morning. We're talking about attaching pain and pleasure to our goals. You felt better. Hey, Teresa. Can't believe because a broken shoulder, but you're pushing through. That's right. Let's see what else we're talking about. Love you. Love you back, baby. Let's see. What are you guys saying? Hey, found you needed to uncreate everything once you believed before you broke your shoulder. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Khaldun. Oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, so before we leave this segment of attaching pain, to your ability to push yourself into action and to sustain action. You've got to create leverage on yourself. It can't be no mamsy pamsy pain. It's got to be something that you find and I want you to write it down because there's something powerful about not only thinking something, not only saying something, but also involving your, physica your physicality, writing it down, seeing it in plain view, and then stack those reasons. Write down as many as you can, but something that truly is painful to not having your goal in the past what what is the pain attached to the past when you don't you don't have it attached to the present of not having it and attached to your future what are those things so who wants to throw something out there who has a goal right now that's having some major difficulty in pushing yourself into action and or sustaining action and then if the rest of us want to jump into this conversation and help that person to stack some stuff to stack some reasons to stack some pain against you know to create leverage for yourself that's gonna push you let's do that right now who has a goal that I can help them to um, to attach some things to and push them into action okay gives me something to think about while at work you're welcome Chris my pleasure does anybody want any help attaching pain to achieving their goal this morning? You've got me and you've got everybody else in this chat that's willing to help you to push to the next level. That's willing to help to get you out of your comfort zone. Even if what you're going to do is uncomfortable for you, you, you are gonna put, we're going to put so much discomfort. We're going to attach that so much to your goal that you're, you're going to go ahead and do it anyway. That's what we need, that you do it anyway. And eventually, when you start to see the results, you're going to be attaching more pain, more pleasure to your action. Okay, Kimberly, what you got? Put it in the uh, chat. Write it down. Welcome, everybody, to the conversation. This is something that I decided to start and put it at a, a specific time because um, someone reached out to me and said, Ro, when are you on? You know, I want to be able to be a part of the conversations. Can you plan them, basically? So I said, you know what, let me think about that. And so I decided to do morning talks with Ro. I'm going to make sure that I give a warning, you know, when I'm going to be out there or just um, a message for that. Okay, good morning, Rosie. We're talking about being able to attach pain and pleasure to achieving your goals. And at this particular moment, we're talking about how to attach enough pain to the, to the past, your past, 
your present and your future of not achieving your goal. What does that look like? You've got to create leverage on yourself. Okay, so watching, working on it. Tomorrow's another year for you. Uh, you've had two jobs, studying for a GED test, saving, still working on the music. Beautiful, Damar. I know that's probably you. <laughs> okay, so since no one's dropped any goal into the chat yet, I'm going to go ahead and move to, okay, you said doing presentations for your Inspire and Cherish Award. What is difficult about doing that, Kimberly? Good morning, Monica. What's difficult about doing the... Uh, the new business that you have for yourself. What is the problem? What's the what's making you not want to go into action? What's so uncomfortable about that? Are you afraid of something? What is the fear? What is the pain or discomfort that you have attached to achieving that goal currently? And how can we help her to create more leverage on herself that says, even though this is uncomfortable, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to feel the fear and do it anyway. Or I'm going to feel the pain, but this pain is even worse of not having it. So I'm going to do it anyway. What is that thing? Good morning, Patrick. I'm glad you're getting value from it. Love it. We're waiting on you, Kim. We're here to help you. And if anybody else wants to drop a goal in here while we're waiting on Kim to express herself, let me help you right now. Let us help you because this will help us to figure out how we can do this for ourselves. You know, this will strengthen all of our uh, motivational, inspirational muscles. Good morning, Terrell. Good morning, Joseph. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, your current goal is to complete your Master's of Divinity degree and then pursue your, de is that Divine Ministry degree? Congratulations. Love you back. We're trying to help each other to achieve goals by attaching enough pain at this moment to not having your goal. What is stopping you? And you need to create leverage on yourself to push beyond what's comfortable because as human beings, our default reaction is to go to our comfort zones. Even if what we're experiencing is uncomfortable, if it's not uncomfortable enough, we will find a way to be comfortable in discomfort. That's how dope we are as human beings. We will find a way to be comfortable. So what is it that you can attach to your goal that's going to make you so uncomfortable that you say, I'm uncomfortable, but I'm not willing to be that uncomfortable, <laughs> right? And, how, and if you can put it in your past and you can put it in your present and you can put it in your future, that's going to create even more supercharged leverage for you to take action and to sustain it. Okay, you want to make sure... You're really inspiring your audience to believe in your products. So then you, I mean, all I'm going to say is you need to study your face off. What is it about your product that's so amazing? And how can you make sure that whoever is listening to you speak about it attaches enough value to it for themselves? And that may change for every person. That may change for every person. What inspires one person to use it may be completely different than what inspires the next person to use it. So can you stack enough reasons why several individuals would benefit from using your product? Can you stack enough? And when I say stack, write them down so that you can keep, keep a log of the reasons that the, when people encounter your product, it's going to inspire them to want to use it. What are the reasons? What are the reasons? Can you make it juicy enough? Or can you attach enough pain, since we're talking about pain in this segment, can you attach enough pain to them not using your product? What are they going to be missing out on? What are they going to wish they had because they're using your products? What are they going to wish that they, why are they going to wish they took action now on using your, using your products? What are the benefits? What is the pain attached to not having it? This is good for marketing, you guys. This is good for marketing. So anybody that's in business for themselves and just in general, we're all in business at some point. We're all selling something, even if you're working for a company or you're working for yourself. Everybody's selling something. So since we're talking about pain in this particular segment, what is the pain attached to people not taking action on whatever it is that you're involved with? Why do they want or need in this moment to take action now? And what are the reasons you can stack so that when you talk to people, it's right there? It's right there for you to express. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conversation. Morning Talks with Ro. 
We're talking about attaching enough pain and or pleasure to achieving your goals. What's going to push you out of your comfort zone? How can you create enough leverage for yourself in your past, present, and future that's going to make you push beyond what you're comfortable doing, but that's going to get you to where you want to go? Okay, so now that we've talked about pain, let's talk about pleasure. <laughs> so, can you attach enough pleasure to pushing you into action? You know, so let's take our same goal that we were talking about. Hey, Calvin, can let's talk about our same goal of weight. You know, we've been using that as like a pseudo goal. I know that's not everybody's goal, but it's just an example. If you get to the body image that you desire, if you trim the weight, what is the pleasure, the amazing pleasure? It can't be some mamsy pamsy pleasure. It's got to be something that says, I have got to have that. That is juicy enough to push me beyond my comfort zone to do what it takes to get to it. So in the past, did you have the body image that you loved? In the past, did you get compliments on how you fit in your clothes? In the past, did you feel a certain way when you looked in the mirror and that gave you the confidence to present a certain image of yourself to the public? A certain energy, did you live in a certain energy of confidence and self-worth and self-value? What is the pleasure that is attached to you having that body weight goal in the past? And do you want to get back to that? Or have you never had it? And you know that if you, if you did have this body image, what you would have felt like in high school, what you would have felt like in college, what you would have felt like in your early or late 20s or your 30s. What is the pleasure that you would have experienced? Attach that meaning and that experience to your past. And then move yourself into the present. How do you attach enough pleasure in your present where that motivates and pushes you? And it can't be some weak reason. You know, sometimes it goes beyond us because sometimes we don't put enough value on ourselves or we could care less about maybe some things that happen to us. But if it happens to your kid, is your kid being teased about what you look like? Is, um, is your husband not happy with what you look like and that's shutting down your ability to be intimate? Are you feeling a certain way about your body image and type so you can't release the fullness of your beauty and who you are and your confidence in the moment? Is it a compromising your ability to connect? Are you, are, you, are you not wearing certain clothes at work? You know, what is, okay, so those are the painful things. So if you did have, if you did attach enough pleasure to it in a moment, what would you look like? Can you see that in your mind's eye? What is your body image? Can you attach enough pleasure to what that would feel like? What would people be saying to you? Can you reenact those thoughts in your mind? What would your husband be saying to you? What would your wife be saying to you? How would your kids feel about going out with you? How would you feel about going out with you? You know, what are those things that would be said to you that would motivate you to push you beyond what's comfortable in your uncomfortable time to push you into action? Create enough leverage for yourself. What is the pleasure on the other side of you doing what you need to do? What is the pleasure in your present moment that will push you into action and sustain that action to get to that juicy, juicy body image, that juicy, juicy thought about yourself? Attach enough pleasure, write it down, stack, stack, stack. When I say stack, that means write down as many things as you can find so that you can look at that stuff later and push yourself into action. Okay, and then go into the future. Who are you? What does she or he look like? What are people saying to you that makes you feel so good? How are you uh, responding to yourself in the mirror when you wake up? What is your partner saying about you? How do your kids feel about you? What is the leverage that you can create for yourself? How can you attach enough pleasure to whatever it is you need to do in order to achieve a goal? That's what we're learning to do. Attach enough pleasure to, to your past, to your present, and to your future. Let's see what you guys are saying. I can't move all the stuff. Why isn't it allowing me to do that? Okay. Here we go. All right. There's so much stuff going on. Okay. D definitely answer the pleasure of seeing the newest and latest sound music equipment to help grow the business you're like a little kid awesome fulfilling the job and people tell you how professional and great things sound awesome keep stacking keep stacking Chris Monica you can see what you want even though no one else seems to have a problem you do that's right it's all up to you what do you want to see for yourself what do you want to see for yourself and how much pain and or pleasure can you attach 
to achieving these goals, you guys. One of your goals is to have one assistant martial arts instructor to teach uh, for the service of Fort Lauderdale Branch and one assistant instructor in Atlanta. Awesome. And you're looking to accomplish that no later than December 1st. Yes, baby. Get it. Get it cracking. How about we finish the year strong? Now is your opportunity. We have three more months, October, November, December. You've got three more months, last quarter, to take things to the next level. We just went into the first day yesterday of October. Who is ready to finish this year strong? Hashtag finish strong. Everybody who's about to finish strong, hashtag finish strong. I'm going to be doing more challenges for you guys in the near future. No days off. No days off has moved a tremendous amount of people's goals forward. Let's see. Who else is in here? Welcome to the conversation, everybody that's joined. You've lost 10 pounds since the last visit. That's what's up, Monica. That's what's up. Keep going. Keep going. Does anybody else want to drop their goals in here uh, who have made some strides and, and, and um, accomplished some things? Let's celebrate you right now before I get out of here. That's right, Kimberly. Finish strong. Everybody who's ready to finish the last quarter of this year and take things to the next level and push you into a whole other level of experience and manifestation for 2018 hashtag right now finish strong rosie says the pleasure of sharing your vocal talents finish strong that's what's up rosie i noticed that you have been talking about your vocals a lot and um i didn't really know that you were a singer before a few months ago so that's awesome that's what's up bill thank you for the encouragement welcome to morning talks with ro i'm glad that everybody was able to tune in who has tuned in I know some people are going to catch this later. Um, my intention is to do this when we start the week on Mondays, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which uh, is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come with your favorite drinks in hand. You know, and if you have any questions for me this morning, I'm opening the floor for that right now. Uh, any tips that you want or any advice from me. Coach Rowe, available to you right now. If there's anything that you need before I get out of here. Let's see. Finish strong. Soon as the notary signs the paperwork. Entrepreneur. Yes. Shout out to all the entrepreneurs. I knew who, who, what kind of road that is to travel and what it takes to push yourself. Hopefully you're passionate enough, you know, for what you have on your plate. Let's see. Uh, good morning. Something to think about. That's what we want. We want us thinking. Barbara, so great to see you. This last weekend it was my pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Yes, Rosie. Okay. So before I get out of here, does anybody have a question for me? Do you want any advice? Do you need any tips? Otherwise, I'm going to release you to have an amazing day today. And I welcome you back on Mondays with me, Morning Talks with Ro. Uh, I'll be coming with different subject matters to help push you guys into the next level of your greater potential and what you're capable of and hopefully give you some tools you know, to take things to the next level. And if you feel like you want me to talk about something in particular, hit me up at askro at gmail.com. That's spelled A-S-K-R-H-O at gmail.com. So if you have any specific questions or if there's something specifically you want to know how to use to leverage taking things to the next level or coming to, into your greater potential, holla at your girl. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Hey, Tiffany, I see you, darling. I see you. Shout out to my students in the room. Personal Power University. Love you guys. You're welcome, Kimberly. Haven't been on stage in forever. However, you're definitely going to hit the stage November 20th. Congratulations. Yes. Push. Next level. Next expression. Let it out. You may. Oh. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Okay, you guys, Morning Talks with Ro, signing out. It's been my pleasure.